Hey guys, it's still Stony, and uh, today we're going to be going through my Friday wash routine. I, I wash my hair once a week. I've, I've already done the washing, I apologize, but, you know, something's better than nothing. So I figured I could show you what I use. It is the Dolly Locks Coconut Lime and Grapefruit. It's it's pretty good. I honest, I would recommend a different scent, but I like what it does. Uh, I got this one to try. I'm going to be getting a different scent. But this is a really good product. I enjoy it. We're not sponsored or nothing. I wish we would. That'd be awesome. But, you know, you get what you got. And then after my hair dries, which I'm going to show you what I do to try and get my hair dry. With my beard, I like to give it a little shake and shake out of the water. And sometimes hair does fall out, which does suck, but... You know, you can see what's going on here. <laughs> I like the, you know, it's fun. <sighs> and I gotta do the same thing for my actual locks, but the problem with that is I gotta wait until this is drier, and the timings are weird. But, after this is done, after I get done shaking my beard out and get it kind of dry, I like to go through in sections with my hair because it's two different types of lengths of hair and stuff. I like to get all of the ones with the colored ends, this is how I tell them apart, and give them a nice squeeze. See? It gets a lot of a... Uh, You just gotta squeeze that shit out. <laughs> and then when I'm done squeezing it all out, I will definitely... Oh, missed a couple. I will do the good old shake method on my hair too. I like to kind of grab it and... <laughs> just whip it around. Get a couple and you can really get the moisture out of it. Or take my hands like this and not like beat the beat it out, but just smack the <sighs> and it is a it is a little bit of a workout. It's a lot of hair. Get it to get from the side. Oh. Yeah. So grab some and squeeze it out. The other side, step this way. That's my towel. Gonna get all the colored ones. That sounds. So, how are you guys? You know, it's, uh, we're all here watching me play with my hair. How are you guys? Because it's all about how the world's doing, you know? I'm, I just like to put this here for me to document, but at the end of the day, I'm worried about you guys. definitely not going to be dry yet, even with all that. There's so much moisture locked in there. Oh, 
All right, and uh, when I come back, we will be a little more dry. You know what? No, we're gonna go ahead and do it now. I think, I think that would be the best move. So I'll be good. All right, y'all. Take your rings off. Remember, I'm just showing you a day in the life of me. My thought process, how how I work through it. Everybody has a different process. So, if you're going into this, you know, take everything I say with a grain of salt because everybody's hair is different. Everybody's different. All we can do is learn from each other. Keep that in mind. Um, anyways, our next... product we use is we have the <clears throat> vanilla twist coconut oil or coconut oil conditioning oil and what this is is you take it and you put it in your hand and you kind of just put it all over your scalp and I know you can't see me but that's okay we open it and it's got this cute little like aftershave type thing going. And you just put some in your hand, rub it around a little bit, and then get it all in your scalp. And you don't do a lot, just enough to cover everything, get all the nooks and crannies. It really helps if you've got dry scalp. It's been helping me. It does burn a little bit, but it's supposed to. It, it's uh, getting in there, and this is all pseudoscience. It's science adjacent, but what it does is it gets in there and it kind of burns it up a little bit and heals it and helps hair grow. Where you like, if you scratched and like dug through with your nails or something, or like scratched yourself, it'll really help with that. And we do the same thing here, but the trick with this is I like to just get it on my fingers. Since my beard's a little more delicate, just get it on there like that and get it all in there and you're not hurting nothing. It's a little scary sometimes because you know, life's scary. But once you work through it all those scary things that you accomplished and got through we're all just learning experiences okay and then after that close it back up let that sit. Wipe our hands off over here on a nice handy dandy towel. Always bring a towel, it's important. And then, lastly, what we do to lock it all in is we use a refreshing spray. And I know it's kind of redundant because this is like a leave in shower, but it also will literally help lock in all that oil and conditioning that you just did and it'll really help but I like to let the conditioner sit for a little bit so when we come back I will be putting that on okay so now that my hair is completely dry or mostly I would say 80% dry now we give it a little bit of this and if you don't remember why, this is the lock-in moisture of the conditioner that you put in on your scalp. It'll really help with your dry scalp. And trust me, I have dry scalp. It's a lifesaver. So this is the fun part. You just gotta, oh yeah. And I'm sorry if my dog starts barking, but he does not like the sound of the sprayer. You just want to, you don't spray, I don't spray it on everything. I just try to get to the scalp, you know? Just 
That was a bead hit in the door. <laughs> All right. So, the last thing we do is five out till it dries again, and then we'll put the hair out. So, see ya. For you guys, it'll be like that, but for me, it'll be a while. So, catch you then. Okay, and finally, we are going to put my hair up. And I figured it would be fun to record this because, I don't know, I feel, I've never actually seen anyone do this. So, what I do is flop all my hair forward, all of it, so make sure you get all the sides, make sure it's all how you want it, nice and... Actually, I need to spray it. I'm using Dolly Locks Lavender Leave-In because it just smells so good. And all over. Get the beard too. Okay, and now for the fun part putting it up. And I just like to use these, you know, they call them face masks, but they're not really, I don't know, they're like gators, but these are just off brand. They have all kinds of cute designs. You can find them anywhere. Flip all the hair. Take it and pull it on and over, like so. And you take the hair and you kind of like switch back and forth hands. It's a pain in the ass, but you can leave it up for like two days. I hope my video is still recording because I can't see and my phone's still having problems. But that's okay because, you know, life goes on. That's all it is about. It's about progress. Good or bad, everything is progress. So, hope this does for. I hope this does well for the update this week. I know it's not the usual, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just tying this off in the back here, and I'll give you a, a nice spin when I'm done. Record me messing up my knot. There we go. Okay. And then you like gotta fluff it up a little bit, make sure everything's nice and cool, right? Give you a spin. Hope you guys take care.